Representing the New York Yacht Club in the America's Cup is, is without question, it's a, it is a privilege because of the club's history in the event. We at American Magic are representing a really historical yacht club that has a massive history in the America's Cup. 132 years the club had the trophy in the, in, in the yacht club in New York City and that, that trophy is missing and the, the club feels it deeply of not having that trophy in the, in the trophy case. I'm very proud to be representing the New York Yacht Club and America Magic and in this America's Cup and the idea of trying to win the America's Cup back for the New York Yacht Club Essentially, the Australians uh, took it off them in 1983, and yeah, I'll, I'll give my absolute best to try to win the Cup for American Magic and the New York Yacht Club. The Cup sat there for 132 years and was truly a part of the club's DNA. And so it's almost like you're removing a piece of the club's history and letting it go somewhere else. Australia 2 crossed the finish line 41 seconds ahead of the defender of the America's Cup. The defense had lost, and for the first time in 132 years, the challenger had won. What happened in 1983? Australia won 4-3, um, and they unbolted it and took it to, to Western Australia, um, exactly halfway around the world from Newport, Rhode Island and uh, set up a defense of their own. Today, people must be questioning whether the term down under applies to Australia anymore. Skipper John Bertrand, you and the crew of the Australia too have shown us the stuff of which Australians are made. Since 1983, the club has been in the competition um, four times. 1987 with America too, 1995 and 2000 with Young America, and then in 2003, with, uh, with Stars and Stripes, Dennis Conner. American Magic are back in the game. New York Yacht Club's American Magic is a collaboration between high-powered private backing and the New York Yacht Club, certainly giving them all the makings of a power squad. The team's name evolved out of America, which was the first boat to win the America's Cup, and Magic, which was the first boat to defend the America's Cup. It's on in some of the most challenging conditions we have seen to date. On the third day of the round robins in, in January of, of 2021, we had an unfortunate uh, capsize in which we punched a hole in the port side of Patriot and the boat sank down to the shear line. Squall here. Whoa, Squall here. Squall hang on. Here. American magic. My and goodness. They are over. The beauty of our team is I think there's a high level of resolve. She might not come out of the shed as pretty, but she's going to come out of the shed and we're going to get back into racing. How much did the capsize hurt? I mean, it hurts sitting here right now because I think, you know, when you have an opportunity to be successful and you can see it um, and you don't reach your potential, how can you not feel anything but disappointment? A good fight, man. The campaign yeah. for American Let's Magic and the New York Yacht Club is over. I just feel sorry for any team who goes out like this. It's unfair. Sport is unfair sometimes, and this has been brutally unfair. The boat was underwater nine days ago. Underwater. It was really tough, Auckland. We uh, we obviously had the capsize where where things went from from bad to worse, and and it did hurt the team. Everybody pulled together, but it also created such an amazing bond. The guys that were there, the guys that went through that came much stronger for it. But moving now into to the next campaign, everybody has learned from the, the mistakes we made last time, and there's also a lot more experience than we had in the previous campaign. So that's hopefully going to put us on a, on a good front foot to uh, to go forward and, uh, and achieve what we want to achieve this time. At the end of the day, the, the capsize really cemented you know our, our principles here with this organization. It brought our team together in ways that we didn't expect and uh, set ourselves up for uh, a successful foundation to move forward on through future campaigns. It would mean everything to, uh, to win the America's Cup with this team. We've had a, I guess it's a short journey, but it, sometimes it feels like a long journey with, uh, with what we went through last time. But it's, uh, it's so many people involved and so many man hours, so much devotion, so much commitment, it would, uh, it would be incredible to win with this team of, uh, of people around us.
representing New York Yacht Club and American Magic and, and trying to win back the cup and bring it home to, to where it obviously belongs in, uh, in New York City um, is, is pretty important to all of us and, and you see it each and every day working with the team here, so pretty special. All of us here at this team you know, have been given a great opportunity by the New York Yacht Club to take on some of that responsibility and, and carry that legacy forward. Um, you know, winning this regatta, winning this America's Cup is something that this Yacht Club expects from all of us and uh, we're living up to that challenge as best we can. What's represented here today in, in Barcelona is the fact that so much of the team uh, feels that, that mission of unfinished business. So you know, here we sit.